Good morning, everyone. It's Phil Wade from Dalton Wade Real Estate Group. I'm here today with uh, Lisa and her cup of coffee. All right, so today we're here to talk about uh, FHA 203K. And before we kind of get into, uh, you know, the meat of that loan product, um, I'm going to talk a little bit first about who that loan might be applicable for. Um, so you're, you're working with a buyer and most buyers are looking for, um, you know, that completely rehab property and sometimes, um, you know, it's, it's difficult to find um, and they're beaten out by either a cash buyer or a conventional buyer. So that FHA buyer is a little bit lower on the totem pole. So this way, um, through the FHA 203K, you can actually show them properties that need work um, and then in summary, kind of what happens is uh, you put that property under agreement, they close on that, uh, they get you know the loan for that, and then they're able to um, roll the rehab costs subsequently, um, you know, into uh, you know into their into their loan. So there's um, and then the other thing is just um, you know if you have a conventional buyer and the property needs work, um, they don't want to do the work. Um, you might suggest to them doing an FHA 203K. So it's not just limited to folks who can only go FHA, anybody can you know, typically use it. So, um, so the, the normal um, you know, FHA loan, um, you know, there are some restrictions on that in terms of uh, the property uh, having to qualify, meaning that the property, you know, the roof has to have more than three years of life left. Um, the, um, you know, there can't be any peeling paint, any wood rot, cracked tiles. Uh, there's a whole uh, list that the FHA appraiser looks for. So sometimes, because the property might not qualify again, um, you could put them in an FHA 203K, or at least suggest to them that, and then, um, you know, you'd be able to have them purchase the property. So that's really the big difference between a standard FHA loan and FHA 203K loan is that there's really uh, subsequently. Um, then there's within FHA 203K, there's uh, two, two, um, two types of loan. There's what's called FHA 203K limited or streamlined. You'll, you'll hear both terms kind of used in, interchangeably. Um, and then there's just the regular FHA 203K loan. So the difference between those two, the limited, um, the person can put in uh, up to thirty-five thousand um, in, um, you know, repairs. So it's a lesser amount. So if it's a big major project, it may not actually qualify for the limited. And then the the difference between the two limited and the full blown FHA two hundred three K is that um, on the full blown you need what's called a facilitator uh, to be involved. So that's someone between your client and the mortgage company and then that person basically um, you know collects all the bids uh, for the work to be done under both um, your client needs to get three um, you know three estimates three quotes from a contractor a licensed contractor uh, for the work they want to be done and then those quotes need to go in as part of the underwriting process um, you know when the f beginning part of the loan is being underwritten so kind of the We'll just talk about the 203k limited for a second so basically you get the house under agreement you do your home inspection um, they apply for their loan and then you know before they close you also have to get all the um, you know all the bids for all the work to be done and then those need to be submitted to um, um, you know to the lender um, and then um, the minimum amount that can be rehabbed is five thousand um, dollars, and then the maximum under the limited is thirty-five thousand, and then under the full blown there is no limit. The only limitation is um, the, uh, and, and you can look depending on what county you're in uh, dictates what an FHA the maximum FHA loan can be. Uh, here in Pinellas County, it's two hundred and seventy-one thousand fifty dollars. So. The total loan, uh, the loan plus the rehab can't exceed that. Uh, that's that's the maximum amount that someone can borrow um, on FHA um, and FHA uh, 203K. Um, it's only for owner occupants. No investors qualify. 
Uh, it's for single families and then also for investment properties uh, up to four units. So it can be uh, single family or multifamily up to four, four units. Um, and as I touched on, the process is, um, you know, you basically uh, get the property under agreement, have them apply for their loan, uh, get all the bids, get those all submitted, um, you know, close on the loan, get your commission, and then subsequently uh, the, your buyer will work with, um, you know, their lender um, to do the rest of the rehab. But at that point, you're, you're pretty much through with, um, you know, kind of what you need to do. Um, you know, selecting, this is a, a very specialized type of loan. So selecting the, um, you know, selecting a lender that's actually done this, not everybody does them. Um, we have a couple of sources if anybody needs some recommendations on, um, you know, who might be able to help um, with this. So, but it is a very specific uh, product and you want to work with a lender that's done many of these. Um, so it's a great, uh, you know, it's a great, um, you know, it's, it's, it, it, it it's a good loan if um, you, for the right situation. So, um, you know, oftentimes, you know, FHA buyers, as I mentioned, are kind of on the lower end of the totem pole in the pecking order of either cash, conventional, then FHA. Um, so the F, and then a lot of times the properties don't qualify, which makes it even harder. So this is a way to sort of fix that. Um, there's a ton of information about it. This, you know, this video presentation is really more of a top level summary about it. Um, you can get much more detail uh, on the wet on the hub the HUD website um, and they have it all laid out and we'll talk about you know what actually qualifies in terms of repairs um, so it's pretty detailed and, and very helpful or if you have questions you can always contact me directly um, and uh, any questions uh, Lisa no but I mean I have I'm doing one right now okay and I just kind of want to say that a couple of things, and I'm still learning, but one thing that I've learned is that what you need is a very defined list of what you want to have done because you're going to need to get three quotes from three different um, contractors, general contractors, um, during the course of the loan. So as soon as possible after you go under agreement, you're going to have to get three apples to apples quotes. So you need a defined list of what you want to do to the house or what your buyer wants to do to the house, and then you have to have you know, three contractors to call to get them come out and, and give quotes. And that's not as easy as it sounds when you've got, you know, a time crunch in terms of getting a loan. Right. It, 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 still, it still falls in kind of the same, you know. So, again, if your client's doing, you know, an FHA 203K, you may, um, instead of going for a 30-day close, you may go for a 45-day close so that you have some extra time you know, to sort of kind of get the things Lisa just mentioned all taken care of. I mean, in, you know, in getting three contractors, you know, to show up, um, you know, does take some time and effort to sort of make that happen. Because they all won't come to the house if the person with the house isn't actually the owner. They don't like to do that. All righty. Any, any questions out in uh, Periscope land? Alrighty. Well, thanks everyone for tuning in, and we'll uh, we'll catch you uh, we'll catch you next Saturday at 9 a.m. Thanks so much.